friends and welcome back to my channel. So a couple of weekends ago, my boyfriend and I were just watching some movies and then we got the biggest craving for fudge brownies and this was at midnight. So I started baking brownies at midnight and granted these brownies did not come out pretty at all. They were not aesthetic, but I did post a photo of them on my Instagram and they were so fudgy and so molten and all of you guys commented how you guys wanted the recipe for these brownies. So that is exactly what I'm sharing with you today. If you guys are new to my channel, just a quick introduction. Hi, my name's Nicole and I'm just a gal that loves food. I love baking, I love cooking, and I love sharing my recipes with you guys. I post weekly on YouTube, so if you love food and you love watching recipe videos, definitely subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, if you want to see me make some fudgy and molten brownies, keep watching this video. But as usual, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you'd like to see more recipe videos from me, subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming videos. Let's get started. Okay friends, so in a large bowl, we're going to add in one cup of unsalted butter, melted and in room temp. If you feel that the butter is hot, make sure to leave it out for a couple more minutes. And then we're going to add in one cup of granulated sugar and one cup of brown sugar packed. Then we're going to add in two tablespoons of vanilla extract. And then using my hand mixer on low speed, I'm just going to mix all the ingredients together. have been thoroughly mixed together, it's time to add in three large eggs. We're going to add these eggs one at a time into the mixture, so add in your first egg and then mix on low speed again with your hand mixer, and then we're going to complete this process again two more times for the rest of our eggs. While you're mixing in the eggs with your mixer, just make sure to mix them thoroughly and make sure that you don't see any egg remnants in your mixture or any egg whites floating around. Alright, now that the eggs have been thoroughly mixed in, it's time to add in our dry ingredients. And today we're going to add in 1 cup of all-purpose flour with 3 and a quarter cups of cocoa powder. If you choose to, you can definitely sift your dry ingredients here, but like I said, the first time I made these brownies, it was midnight, and at midnight, nobody has time to sift any flour or cocoa powder, so I just dump mine directly into the mixture. Then, taking my hand mixer again, I'm gonna mix on low speed until all the dry ingredients have been incorporated and you no longer see any flour on the sides or the bottom of the bowl. Once you're done mixing, I'm just going to go into the mixture again with a spatula just to make sure I scrape down the sides of the bowl and make sure to check the pillow of flour, I call it, at the bottom of your bowl because flour does tend to fall to the bottom. And once that's done, you should be left with a super thick and silky brownie batter. And of course, because Easter is just around the corner, my mixings today are going to be Easter themed. So I'm using Easter M&Ms and also Hershey chocolate eggs, but you can also use mini eggs or any other Easter chocolate coated candy. I literally got that backwards. I meant candy coated chocolate. Then using my spatula, I'm just going to slowly fold in the mix-ins into my brownie batter, making sure not to overmix the batter as well. video I'm going to bake my brownies in an 8 by 8 inch square baking tray and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some cooking spray and thoroughly spray the tin. These brownies are going to be so so fudgy so we want to make sure that they don't end up sticking to our tin. Once I'm done greasing the tin I'm also going to add in some parchment paper. Now that our baking tin is fully prepped, we're going to start pouring the brownie batter directly into the tin. And don't worry if it doesn't look smooth right now, just pour it directly into the tin because we will be smoothing it out later. Now 
Now that the brownie batter has been completely poured in, I'm just going to go in preliminarily with my spatula and smooth it out as much as I can. We want to make sure that it's smoothed out evenly throughout the tin so that there's an even bake throughout the brownie. Now I am using my offset spatula to smooth out the brownie batter to ensure that this brownie has an even bake. Once that's done, I'm just going to take our remaining Easter candy and plop them on the top of our brownie. Once done, your brownie should look something like this. Our brownie looks super festive with all the Easter candy that we added, and now this bad boy is ready to be popped into the oven, so we're going to bake this at 350 Fahrenheit for about 45 to 50 minutes. Out of the oven, you'll notice that your brownies are still going to be wet inside, but that's exactly how we want it, and that's how we get fudgy brownies, and make sure to let them rest for 30 minutes minimum out of the oven. And once your brownies have completely cooled, it is time to slice. Oh my goodness, you can already tell how fudgy these brownies are. And of course, as per every dessert video I do, it is time to do a dessert break. So here it is folks, our 2021 Molten Easter Brownie Dessert Break. so fudgy. Alrighty guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're ever craving brownies at midnight, definitely try out this recipe because these brownies are amazing. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, just a tip, if you don't like Easter themed brownies, replace the Easter candy with regular chocolate chunks or chocolate chips and these brownies are going to turn out perfect. If you guys end up recreating these brownies, don't forget to tag me on my Instagram at Nicole Charmaine. I love seeing all of your recreations and sharing them on my page. Also, if you didn't know, a couple weeks ago I made a TikTok account. So bear with me while I still learn how to use this platform, but definitely follow me on there because I think I'm getting the hang of it. Alright guys, before I let you go, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. The eggs and chocolate. I don't even know what type of chocolate. Easter m and sorry.